morning, everybody. Kylie and Aaron. And now we're starting over with again. With Lone Rock Longhorns. Um, now today, we're with the wheat. We are. Little man sleeping in the truck. You guys can see there's little bitty sprouts coming up. What you got there? Now that one's sprouting, but it's not what I planted. Anyways, um, just to clarify, on the last video you guys heard at the sale barn, you heard people auctioning. Um, you guys are worried that we were selling $25 Longhorns. Um, no, <laughs> we aren't. That is, um, they call it Calcutta. It's actually, it's just a thing that they do in, in Longhorn for charities. They're, somebody is actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Aaron? playing in the dirt. It's not my grass. Somebody is um, gambling on whether the the animal before the girls you saw go on the ring will win the class. So somebody gambled 25 bucks that that animal beforehand was going to win the class. If there's a thousand dollars worth of gambling going on in that one class, they split it I think 70% and so you make a little bit of money. But so no, we, right. we weren't selling our animals for $25, I promise. <laughs> they're, they're sitting in the pen at home right now. Um, but How do you know? You didn't feed them before. I saw them this morning. But anyways, um, today is kind of um, a little bit of cool and exciting and sad all at once. Um, I just brought Aaron over here to the field to grab this tractor. We're going to go back to the barn and um, we're donating, what, two semi loads? My hay sure grew fast. <laughs> I think 75 bales um, worth of grass to send to the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma with the. Uh uh. We are Oklahomans. We're sending it to Oklahoma. I think they said it's going to gauge Oklahoma, um, but to try to help out the ranchers out there that lost everything with the the wildfires going on so that's kind of interesting um we're pretty blessed to be able to do that so um i will try to take a couple videos hopefully Rhett sleeps a little bit and we'll cooperate <laughs> i didn't bring my little sling with me so we'll see what we can do and um, hopefully you guys see this video soon it, it might be a short one uh poor Rhett had the stomach flu a couple days ago bug. and that was, it was a bug. stomach bug it was bad, um, so Aaron and I are just waiting to get it, but hopefully hopefully we don't. It's been 24-ish hours, so <laughs> fingers crossed. But um, we'll try to take some videos today, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Just put this in hay bale, a couple hay bales, just in the not the best grass area we have in Unrolled. I'll try to help seed it out a little bit. This is why we need to burn. Don't worry though. They'll eventually make it. I see you. Come on. Buddy, you're getting big. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Can't tell Aaron. Come on. Some 
Satan. So this trucking company is actually a nonprofit out of Missouri. Oh, one bell's a little crooked there, husband. getting a little chilly out there for a bit. So we're in the barn. You know, just hanging out with Rat in his playpen. Almost got the first one loaded. Hey, I'm trying to record. You can't crawl on me. He's on my phone. <laughs> Buddy. You guys are going on and on about how good this quality of hay is compared to what they've been taking out. So, that's a blessing. Oh my goodness. Hang on. These guys are from Springfield, Missouri. I'm a nonprofit working with the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association. Where are you going? Snacks for life. <laughs> It was sunny outside, and now it's cold and gross. There's a rat hand. <laughs> oh, I know.
head out. I think there's 60 bales altogether. Hopefully get another couple loads next week. Off to the panhandle they go. Hi guys. So we're back. Rhett's driving around in his buggy. Aaron's building fence. Ruger's hanging. Maggie's down here too. But got everybody loaded out as you saw on the hay. Um, we just kind of wanted to come on here and, and uh, say that if uh, you guys are feeling generous or you know feeling in your heart to want to donate to the um, disaster relief fund here in Oklahoma I will put it in the description of our video um, it's underneath the video you're watching now kind of in like where you can like or dislike there's the box right there with the description I'm gonna put a link in there I still don't know how to put it in the descriptions like uh, or in the video like Chad does we'll get that figured out <laughs> <laughs> He's chasing Maggie. <laughs> but um, we're going to put it in the description. It's going to be a link to the, um, I think it's the, um, the agricultural department here in Oklahoma. They have a, they call it disaster relief fund. Um, if you're feeling generous, you feel in your heart, you want to give, that's wonderful. Um, every bit helps tremendously. Um, I The company that came and picked up the hay this morning, they do a lot with, uh, there's Mackie. <laughs> they do a lot with, um, like donations of food, hygiene products, cleaning supplies, all that kind of stuff. They were just helping out on the hay side of it because there's a huge need for that. Um, they were saying that one of the fires was at least, I think, like 80% curtained or something like that. So it's getting better, um, but... I think I heard on the news this morning that one of them was like the second largest in the United States history or something like that. It's, it's, they're crazy huge and it's right in the heart of ag country. Um, thousands upon thousands of lost animals, burned animals, not including what's probably going to have to be euthanized just for the humane side of it, of burnt hoofs, burnt udders, ears burnt off. I mean, just it's horrible. It makes you make, I get chills thinking about it because I can imagine that happening, um, to us. But, um, if you feel in your heart, you want to give, please do. Um, <laughs> oh, Jethro was around the corner. My dogs thought they needed to go get him. Little do they know he's not afraid of them. But, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today. I might try to grab a couple of videos of feeding the longhorns here in a little bit. Um, other than that, we're just kind of taking it chill, getting Rhett back into trying to get him back into his routine. He's feeling better. Hoping Aaron and I don't come down with it, but it is what it is if we do. So um, stay tuned. And, uh, oh, I did forget. Um I'm going to utilize Chad and his abilities with everybody and tag him in this video and kind of use him to help bring attention to the disaster relief fund. So when you guys see my description and it says, Chad, we need your help, that's what I'm speaking of. So don't come at me when you say you don't see anything clickbait, you know, all that good stuff. But so, um, yeah, so if you see this, if you're feeling it in your heart, feel free 
to send some uh, money over or just anything, anything you feel is appropriate and will help out greatly. So we will um, go feed some longhorns and be talking to you guys soon. Well guys, we brought a couple steers back for a friend that's getting picked up in a couple weeks to go to Ohio. So help me. He doesn't know what the food bowl is. So he won't come to that. Five bucks. When I walk back here, and we walk towards the other gate. He's going to round this corner. He's going to haul butt. And then we're going to have to wait till Aaron gets home. So maybe we'll get lucky. Literally got out in the one spot. There's fence there. It's just really loose. Your buddies are in there. Man, we might get lucky. Don't do it. Maybe one less steer if he crosses that. Okay, your buddies are right here. Hey. Look. <sighs> I'm hiding. Oh, you sorry son of a gun. <sighs> Side note. Goody goo baby. I hate stupid cows. I hate stupid cows. Just don't worry, me and Rhett's on an adventure. Don't you dare. Go back the other way. Ah. Go back to the open gate, you little stink. Mind all the fireworks. My husband's a pyromaniac when it comes to fireworks. You gotta get in there. Got him, Rhett. Stink. Hi, guys. I did it, baby. But I haven't been able to go feed with Aaron lately. So we have lots and lots and lots of new babies.
say Frida girl was my first Angus baby. Yeah, look at him. So cute. Yeah, I'm gonna hop off here and tell Aaron we had a baby. Aww.